He's making a list. He's checking it twice. He's slipping on fake blankets of snow. Man, that really kills the illusion. Ouch. On this episode of Goofs, we'll take a look at the Santa Claus films and a few of the mistakes, bloopers, and gaffes that we're sure they never wanted us to notice. On the night of Christmas Eve, the newly appointed Santa Claus squeezes his way down a vent pipe thing to visit little Sarah. Do you want this doll or not? Go back to sleep. Sorry, Santa's a bit hangry for cookies. Anyway, Sarah's clearly missing her two front teeth. We'll fast forward to a year later when Scott Calvin has fully embraced his role as Saint Nick. Little Sarah is still missing those chompers. You're forever this year. Well, thank you very much. Somebody needs to remind her of this song. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. For this next Ho Ho Holiday goof, we'll focus on a major plot hole. No, not the obvious one where parents who don't believe in Santa somehow never question who's been leaving dozens of Christmas gifts under their trees. What if I choose not to believe it? Anyway, Charlie and his dad Santa take flight to deliver gifts. While Charlie hangs out in the sleigh with the reindeer, Kris Kringle gets himself arrested, which strands Charlie up on the roof. But why? Can't reindeer fly, Charlie? Where did they go? And why didn't they take you with them? So many questions! Ah! Let's dash through the snow to our next goof, which comes from 2002's Santa Claus sequel. Not bad. Not bad yourself. After the marriage of Mr. and Mrs. Claus, they smooch, the clock strikes midnight, Santa gains 50 pounds and a bushy beard, so they hop into the sleigh for... Wait. Who was that? You might want to get some rest. No, 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 can't rest. We must point out the crew member that managed to sneak his way into this shot. Hey, he deserves on-screen credit for that walk-on role. Ho, ho, ho! And though we'd love to cover the third Santa Claus film. Yeah, and? Oh, it's just so fantastic. There's no goofs. You divine little <laughs> kitten, you <laughs> Yikes. So we'll go back to the second film, when Abby the Elf hands Santa the naughty list. As you can see, Santa is wearing his signature red suit, but when she hands him the list, a man's arm with a blue sweatshirt takes it. So hey, maybe Kris Kringle was just showing off a magical half-second wardrobe change? This thing, you never know where it's been. But probably not. Thanks for watching this episode of Goofs. Be sure to rate the Santa Claus films after you watch them and check out your favorite movie or TV show's Goofs page right here on IMDb. Papa Gijo.